35 to 28. The Chargers are the first team from the Valley to reach the state semifinals since Port Isabel back in 2003. Well, this Friday, the Chargers will take on the Smithson Valley Rangers at Buccaneer Stadium in Corpus Christi. Tickets for this game will go on sale today starting at 7 a.m. For more information, you can head to valleycentral.com. And over the weekend, BIZ announced early dismissals will be taking place on Friday. BIZ middle schools are out at 1145 in the morning. Elementary schools dismiss at 1215 in the afternoon and early college high schools are out at 1 p.m. And continuing with community headlines, one of the biggest Christmas traditions in South Texas took place this weekend. The 10th annual parade allowed thousands to welcome the holiday spirit and featured celebrities like parade host Mario Lopez and several Dallas Cowboy. Now there were illuminated floats and helium balloons as well as marching bands. Now before the parade got underway, the UTRGV Vaquero marching band delivered its first performance for spectators. Festivities also featured Christmas in the park and a special visit from Santa Claus. And last week we informed you that Santa Claus dropped by the valley for a couple of Christmas events, including that parade, and it looks like he decided to stay in town for a little bit longer. Danielle's here to tell us what he's up to next. Why wouldn't he love the valley, right, Adam? I agree. He's going to be a permanent resident. For I sure. think so, too. <laughs> it looks like, indeed, my friend Jolly Old St. Nick is going to be staying in McAllen, Adam, for at least a little while. <laughs> That's because he's going to be the star at a special SantaCon event. It's expected to be a whole bunch of fun for the entire family, for sure. Attendees are going to have the chance to get all dressed up in their best Santa or Christmas outfits. Plus, get a chance to show off the ugliest sweater that they have for a contest. There will be other, you know, similar themed winter friendly con costume contests on top of fun photo opportunities and uh, plenty of lights to take in the sightseeing of all things Christmas. <laughs> and for mom and dad, there's going to be a Santa bar crawl on top of beverages to help keep you cool while being out and about. Now, Santa's of course going to be on site and he's going to be engaging in exciting meet and greets, uh, for everyone who does attend and if you're lucky you might be able to go home with some pretty cool prizes too so it's hopefully going to help you remember the magic of that night there'll be live musical entertainment in the form of various bands performing your favorite top holiday music playlist songs and there'll be different local school music groups and educational entities on site bringing in the holiday cheer that you can imagine on, on the big stage it's going to be a lot of fun this is a chance to support local community engagement and enjoy all that there is when it comes to handcrafted santa themed items products and Christmas time goodies. It's all going down this Saturday and the festivities begin at 7 p.m. So be sure to put it on your calendar so that you don't miss out. You can get all the info on what's happening at the Santa Con by visiting eventbrite.com. You guys, I've never been to a Santa Con, but man, it sounds fun. It does. <laughs> Nationwide's biggest Santa bar crawl. Isn't that cool? And it's happening in the Valley. Thank you very much. That, that is awesome. crazy. <laughs> this one sounds really fun. I'm going to have to get some more details from you later because I'm yeah. genuinely interested yeah. in going to this. <laughs> yes, it sounds awesome. And it, it sounds like it's a family friendly very family stuff friendly, for the right? kids mm -hmm. and yeah, stuff for the for adults. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So date night or bring the kids along. True. That's what I'm hearing. Or I love events night. like that. <laughs> or party, party night. night. Party with Santa. Uh, that's, that's what I was going to say. Who wouldn't want a party with yeah, Santa? Have a glass of eggnog with him. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, you saw him cool. reaching for those I cookies? I love eggnog. You do. do you guys like eggnog? <laughs> there is a, a plant based version of that's eggnog and it's amazing. There you go. So we'll have to get that out there too. Shout out to Farms. I don't I know what's going yeah. on all the time. <laughs> so good. That's like, we'll, we'll make Santa drink the vegan eggnog. Yeah. yeah. Right? I have to get we'll his, turn it vegan. You know this means we're going to have to get his approval too on that. Yeah. Oh. yeah. If not, Rudolph will drink it, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it all sounds great. It sounds like a really good time. And, yes, and yeah, um, it's you said a lot of lights out there, vendors, Music. Christmas shopping in case you need some last minute. Oh my gifts. goodness. It's so true. Yeah. And it's all there for shopping and supporting local, which we know we all love, especially Adam. You're yeah. always a, you're a big supporter yeah. for local. I did yeah. one year where I did only local gifts. You for did, local I remember. Yeah, that's I, awesome. I was made fun of, but it was funny. No, was <laughs> I think that's beautiful. Yeah, I really do. It was cool. Yeah, you gotta be here then. Yeah, I will. All right, Danielle, <laughs> thanks for the info. So to come, medication expiration. Experts suggest using the end of the year to check your medicine.